guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am vlogging and I'm really excited because I have not filmed a shop with me in like, I want to say over a year. I think the last time I did one was back in Windsor when we were living in Ontario. So it's been so long and obviously I think with COVID and everything, like I just, I don't know, I was not in the mood to go out and even shop in stores so I feel like now is a really good time and um, I am actually gonna go to a cafe after so hopefully I can get some little clips of that I'm getting Ryan um, some lunch and uh, we'll probably have coffee together when we get home I would get Starbucks but then it's kind of hard or hard to shop when you have a shopping cart plus if you're filming plus a coffee I always end up spilling so or I leave it on a shelf by accident and like where's my coffee so I've had that happen a lot of times uh, but today I thought it'd be really fun just to share with you guys what's at home scent so I'm currently parked this is something that Ryan taught me actually but I park really far from like all the other cars kind of works out to my benefit because then people aren't watching me vlog which can kind of be awkward sometimes it looks like I'm talking to myself um, but at the same time I don't really care <laughs> uh, but yeah no it's nice and then you don't like if you have a lot of stuff and if I'm bringing the girls I don't get my car hit which totally sucks and some spots here are so tiny I don't even know how people get their kids out so I just park really far um, from everyone so that's kind of nice so there's a doggy yeah anyways it's still snowing here and I'm really hoping spring weather comes because in two weeks it's spring which I really hope it warms up I have my winter coat right now I have my little backpack which this has been my favorite backpack you guys it's from indigo I know a lot of you guys were like where do you get it from indigo and I got it a few years ago so I don't even know if they still have it and then I have my Chanel wallet and I also have a or my face mask too. just use these I have my little mints and then a pair of gloves and my just that I would sh quickly share with you guys so my two favorite lip products right now uh, have been the Charlotte Tilbury which is the nude I'm wearing right now and then also the fresh uh, lip balm which I love it's so nice coconut I love the smell of coconut it reminds me of the summer uh, but yeah, I just thought it'd be fun. I have to find some stuff. So yeah, tomorrow is a little bit of the secret project, like I said, and I'm really excited. My friend Jen's gonna get, are gonna come and do my makeup, and then also Desiree, which she always does my photos. So I'm just really excited for this next project. I will talk about it more later on in the year. Uh, and then the other thing I actually did the other day, so I had my uh, hair injections, which also I will give you an update. They are going really well, but I took that break because the... Um, uh, the actual clinic was closed during I think December into January So it's been a few months since I've gotten my injections, but they work so well I'm not joking like when I was showing Ryan my spots the front spots here have like grown in like I had no hair If you guys remember right here, and it's all grown in so I'll do a little recap um, Video maybe I'll show you guys after when I get home and I'm not wearing my toque uh, But yeah, my hair this is my actual hair. It's growing really long actually So I booked myself a hair appointment on Tuesday which I have not, like, I've not felt comfortable to go to a hair salon in years, you guys. I have always been so nervous that, like, just people would stare, which people usually do. Um, and then, obviously, the hairstylist just being like, you know, where did you, or when did you get alopecia? And just all the questions that come along with it. Uh, and it was nice when I've, I've always had a friend to do my hair. I've always been friends with my hairstylist. And, like, Trey back in Windsor, she would just do it at my house. Sarah in Vancouver, she would just do it at her salon when no one was there. So it was kind of nice. I'd go after hours. Um, but obviously I'm at that point now where I'm more comfortable with it and I don't really care like if people are gonna you know stare that's totally fine they can but you know it is what it is and my hair is actually doing a lot better than it was so it's growing it's just obviously very thin it's thinned out um, I used to have this much hair on both sides but this is how much I have like all together so uh, but I would just like to get it trimmed down maybe like take off an inch or two and just have it regrow and get healthy again so I actually bought a ton of keratin as products which are all like um you know damaged brittle hair and some other products too uh that I, I think will really help so yeah I'm really excited about that and I actually got um Botox as well I know I don't really talk about this online but it's so little that I get anyways that I don't even think people could tell they're not like you got Botox but um I do get it so I have like a little bit more of a brow lift and I don't know if you can tell but this brow has always been higher which is driven me nuts um but anytime I've got my eyebrows microbladed like that's been very noticeable so 
yeah, anyway, so it was nice. I got it right in here, and then also the crow's feet, like, right in here, which is very nice to get, and yeah, so I got that actually when I got my hair injections. They just did it all together, so it's nice I can just get it done in one appointment, um, because I feel like time is not on my side lately. It's just been so crazy you guys behind closed doors and once you see the three projects I'm working on then you'll understand like how I've had no time and Ryan and I have actually been um a, a few other exciting things that I've been doing behind the scenes uh we're actually going to get the girls into soccer and all my other mom friends that have kids around the same age are doing it as well so Kat um her her kid Hugo is one year older than the girls and then my friend Tina and some other mom friends as well so I think that's really nice I cannot wait to see them play soccer together and even Ryan was saying Mia can kick a ball so hard like she has like a strong hit so I think it'll be really fun and active for them and also I've just noticed anytime they're active outside playing like they get a much better sleep and they just they learn so much right and they're so active so it's gonna be nice for them to do that and then also we were thinking maybe next year having them in daycare maybe one or two days a week just to kind of get used to that trans or transition of when they get into school um uh, because obviously I, th I think it's a lot like if a child is going into great or a kindergarten without like having any experience of like sitting in a classroom or like you know being with other people being away from home or being away from like their where they usually are so I just think it'll be nice and it will get Ryan and I used to be having that separation because we obviously we're gonna have ex or separation anxiety because it's a lot for us to be away from them for like an hour or two um so I think yeah I think it'll be really nice and obviously daycare is truly so expensive like it's really expensive plus we have two payments because two two kids and um yeah it's it's definitely not cheap so I, I wouldn't like I mean we're both at home anyways we would never do like full-time daycare unless we had a nine-to-five job where we couldn't um but I think just doing it a few times a week we've talked about it we've agreed and it'll be really healthy I think for us and them so yeah sometime next year but we are appreciating like every single moment with them like I said did I say they're two and a half today two and a half and they look so big like hopefully I can get a few clips but they and you guys have seen on my Instagram because I post them all the time but if you're not following me on Instagram make sure you're following me because I post them all the time and they are so big now I honestly cannot believe it it's like night and day with how fast they're growing and they're half my size already um I do need to find them some new clothes I was on H&M and I might stop actually if I have time to go to Carter's and I'm gonna stop at a cafe as well because I want to get Ryan and I some nice lunch um maybe like soup and a salad or something like that or soup and a sandwich and coffee uh, I love Sunday. I'm filming this on Sunday. Sundays are my favorite day, you guys. I get so much done on Sundays and I kind of plan for my entire week ahead. And I think it's because it's my favorite day. So I like I feel less stressed. And I think that's so important because I think lately too, I've taken on the stress of not only myself, but I've been dealing with like a few friends that have depression right now and just like being there you know for support and just giving them you know showing them that like my love and it's just there's so many people struggling right now you guys behind closed doors and I think it's so good to like make sure you're talking to your friends talking to your family talking to people as much as you can and being open um because I think a lot of people try to close off their emotions and um especially guys guys tend to do that a lot so I feel like I sometimes try to I try to nitpick at Ryan if like you know just making sure that he's okay and I think for him it's a lot of just having some more time to work on things that he likes and things that he loves so um I think we have a good balance of just letting each other know hey I need like half a day off today and you know just being communic or communicating with one another but like I said, a few of my friends are going through a deep depression and it's just hard because I think for me, I'm always that like, I want to be the glue to like all of my friends and I just want to support like as much as I can. And I've always tried to do that. So I take a lot of like, I think people's emotions and I put it on like onto my own, if that makes sense. So when I have a lot going on as well. Um, but like I said, it's good to be there for people right now because some people are like alone and have no family to see and no friends. So it's, it's definitely a hard time. Um, I'm just happy. I mean, we have restaurants open again, so we can finally take the girls out and go for a nice dinner and we couldn't do that for a long time. So it's crazy when you see like the little things that you've missed so much. Um, but truly like, I couldn't believe even Ryan was like, Ryan doesn't even like to go out for dinner. And he's like, this is really nice. And I'm like, I know. Um, so we definitely miss that. And I think, yeah, it's just been, I think, a struggle lately to kind of, I'm such a, uh, 
what's the word? I love seeing like all my friends together and I love doing group activities and group things. So it's hard not to be able to do that right now. It's actually back. We can have 10 outdoor or 10 people outdoors right now. Um, so, you know, we've gone to the ice rink. We've seen some of our, our friends outside, which has been nice. Um, but I'm just, I'm hoping to go for like a girl's dinner and like get back to, you know, going, being able to go out with like four or five more people than, you know, just one. So or right now it's not even one. You can only go out with your family, but I hope it gets to that point because I totally miss that. Um, but it's nice. Like my mom even said after she gets vaccinated, she wants to come out and see the girls and stuff. So I know a lot of people are starting to get vaccinated and stuff. And um, yeah, I just hope it, I hope things go back to normal. It's, it's really a, a scary time and I don't think people are used to it, you know, but oh my God, I can go on and on about this. So I'm sorry, chatty stuff as usual, but I just need to do a check-in on people's mental health and my own as well. I think I've just taken on so many projects right now among like, or amongst having like the girls at home. So being a mom and my business, like I have so much on my plate right now. So I think just allowing myself to like go to home sense and enjoy the smaller things that I like to do. Um, so yeah, that's been really nice. But anyways, I'm going to go into HomeSense. If there's any other stories you want to see like a shop with me, then let me know in the comments and let me know how you're doing. I would really love to know what do you have planned for the rest of the week? Today is Monday. Uh, and what have you been up to? Do you have anything ready for spring? Like, oh goodness, I just, I can't wait for spring flowers. Like I want to book a shoot with the girls. I've always wanted to do like a cherry blossom photo shoot with them. And I'm really excited for that. And there is someone staring at me while I'm talking to my camera. Uh, <laughs> anyways, okay, I'm going to go in literally right now and I will see you guys in there. You guys can see I'm back in the car now. I have my trunk and back seats full of stuff. Not necessarily stuff I needed. And the only thing they didn't have there, which we really needed, was the espresso beans and they were out. Um, but I saw a lot of Easter stuff. And other than that, there wasn't really much decor that I wanted. I do need like big, big pillows. That's why you guys saw me uh, hassling like four massive pillows. They filled up my cart like instantly. So it was kind of hard to maneuver around the store and film. Um, also it was packed cause it's Sunday. So like it was kind of awkward to film a little bit. So I only could get so many, uh, shop with me parts, but I hope you guys enjoy seeing the haul portion. Cause I did pick up quite a bit of stuff. I found a lot of cute Easter things. Also, I got the girls Easter, Easter baskets, but I wanted to get the wicker ones. Cause those were the ones I grew up with. The only thing is they really scratch themselves. Like Sophia has like a million bruises on her leg. She's like a monkey. Um, and Mia tends to scratch herself and have little boo-boos, but I, I feel like they just do it to get band-aids cause they're obsessed with band-aids. But, um, Anyways, so I ended up going with the super soft ones, which I will show you guys. And I think I might just do some sort of like big arrangement for them that I'll have with like, you know, some Easter bunnies and eggs and all that fun stuff for them. And maybe some creative or uh, creativity stuff that they can do. Or what am I thinking? Creative. What am I thinking? <laughs> like puzzles and stuff like that. Um, anyways, I still have to go to the cafe to go pick up our food. I'm sweating now. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that I went there cause it's been a little bit, but they didn't have that much stuff. So I feel like it's kind of the in-between of spring, but it's also like they don't have that much spring stuff right now. So I feel like next month might be a little bit better, uh, but I'm still excited to share with you guys and do like a big haul once I get home. So I'm going to go get coffee, lunch, and then I'll show you guys the haul. Okay, so I could not film in there at all. I got like two little clips, but it was like fully packed in there. Every table was taken. Um, so I have here uh, two coffees, big coffees. And I also got a caramel macchiato. 
right here as well. So just since I'll be filming, doing a haul later, I'll probably need something else later on. And I'm just waiting. I got breakfast sandwiches, so those are coming. Um, but yeah, just wanted to quickly pop on here. I had my face mask on. I'm sweating. It's actually really hot here today. So why am I putting my seatbelt on? I have to wait 15 more minutes for the food and go home. I'm going to see if I can film with the girls because I know Rand's working a little bit in the garage today. So I'll see if they want to be in the vlog. And, um, I'm usually very scatterbrained through the day, um, when I'm trying to get stuff done. So I can't even think sometimes, but anyways, I'm really excited to share with you guys the haul and have some coffee. All right, just got home, you guys. Wanted to quickly show you what I got. Look how yummy. So this is the breakfast sandwich. It has egg, avocado, and something looks like spicy peppers or something. And then we have some fries. We have our coffees that I got too. And I'm gonna get everything um, sorted, all the whole stuff. There's a whole lot. And then figure out my filming situation after I eat. <laughs> you gotta give it to Maxi. Look, we got him some treats. That's a good boy, he's a good boy. And we also got some doggy bags. Mommy's gonna wash these beautiful kitchen towels with the bunnies. Bye. Yeah, bunny. All right, so I thought I would make my life a little easier and film it just this way, showing you guys everything. I was gonna sit down and do like a full haul, but I just don't have the time. And look at Miss Mia right here, putting mommy shoes on. Are you two and a half, Mia? Show mommy your beautiful bow today. Wow, beautiful. Yeah, they pick out their own bows now and they're really into pink and blue. Um, but I wanted to just share with you guys everything that I have hauled. So we have home sense bags. We have, um, this is Pottery Barn Kids. We also have Karastaz and then also down here Princess. This is my first time shopping with Princess Polly. I love, love everything that I picked up, including this really cute little black backpack, which I don't really wear black all that often, but I just thought something different. Oh, I thought you put my shoes on, boo-boo. <laughs> Whoa. So we got this actually for Michael. It's his birthday next week, and we're going to drop it off along with some other gifts. We got him like a big fridge, um, and that's that's our little friend, oh, isn't it? Open. Oh, no, we can't open. It's for Michael. And then this frame right here, I got $12.99, which I wanted to use this in my closet somewhere. I just thought that would be really like pretty in here, and I love that Victorian look. Oh, my goodness. So much stuff. Okay. This is for the girls. Usually if I get big baskets, they'll put like everything in there too. So we got these. Mia, yeah, look at these. <gasps> look at these baskets. Aren't they pretty? They're for your playroom with sister. <laughs> All right, shoes are more entertaining. Good morning, you guys. So today is Thursday, day before upload. And I basically wanted to come on here and tell you what the heck happened with my upload. So I know I talked about this on Instagram, but um, I was all ready to upload for Monday because I had missed Friday. I sent my video to my editor, Ash, uh, and none of the clips had audio. And I was like, wait, what? So I tried to like re-upload them. Then I listened to them for myself and there was no audio, but I was like talking. And then I went to go see my camera. I'm like, wait a minute here. And then the entire microphone was unplugged. So. That's what happens when you film with toddlers. And I just thought it would be so cute anyways. Um, I'm gonna ask my editor, Ash, just to put some of the clips on top uh, that I filmed with me and Sophia, cause they were like getting into everything. They were so cute. And I, you know, the times that I do film with them, even though it's hectic and crazy, uh, I still enjoy it. So, I mean, yeah, even though that happened, that's so, I apologize obviously for not uploading or uploading on Monday, but I'm glad to have a video up right now. Having my coffee, this morning and basically this is actually kind of neat too so you'll see both of when I was opening or opening up everything and then also when I've put everything away so all the new stuff I have I've already put away we've used um, so we have stuff from Pottery Barn for the kids and then I also have this big assortment here um, for my friend Tina's son's birthday so Michael uh, so I honestly have so much fun shopping for boys and obviously, you know, I've shopped for girls for so long now and most of my friends have had girls. So it's been really fun to shop for him. So it's a Mickey Mouse, um, little party she's having for him. And obviously he's a huge Mickey Mouse fan and I got them this, which I thought would be so fun, a waffle maker. 
Uh, and this just reminded me of Michael and also Tina as well. I think she'll really have fun with this. Um, and it makes for a really fun breakfast. So I'll link it down below. It's from Amazon. And then the other stuff, so I know I had opened up this, which me and Sophia were getting into, the little Mickey Mouse cash register. Um, so I got him this, which is really fun. It's very colorful. They sometimes like Mickey stuff. They do prefer Minnie, but sometimes they like playing with Mickey. I have this big rhino that I got him. And then this, uh, let's see. Oh, and I got this the other day, by the way, this big squishy. And the girls, I got them um, pink ones too. And then right here, we just have this, which is so awesome. This is the perfect travel size. So if you're taking um, you know, your toddler out for dinner or have them in the car, this is a perfect little portable like writing pad that they can write on. Comes with a little pen too. And then also this, oops, let's see if I can get it out. Oh, gotta love toys that like make so much noise. And then this right here, I got him a little Mickey Mouse set. So it looks like this when you open it. Uh, and I got the girls the uh, princess ones. So those are downstairs, which I will show you. So cute though. And I just made it into like this little basket. I also bought the basket from uh, Amazon, which it has dinosaurs all over it and it's blue on the inside. Oh, and there's more stuff. I forgot about this. So I did get some utensils for him. There's these light blue ones. These were from Amazon right here. And then these are great. So I bought these for the girls as well, but they're like little mini ones. So say if you're going like to the zoo and I know like we'll be going to the zoo a lot in the summertime, we're going to get like a season's pass. Um, but these are great size. Then you don't have to bring the full size and uh, came with three sets, which is nice. I might have to buy one more because Mia and Sophia always fight over the pink. And I know it's so crazy because like, of course, they're going to love pink because I love pink. But Mia needs pink everything. Like she won't even let Sophia have something that's pink. She just like owns pink now. And then Sophia luck uh, luckily likes blue. So I mean, it, oh my goodness, it's just so crazy once they start getting into like colors or personality, clothing and stuff that they like want to wear. They have such an opinion now on everything. So um, but yeah, anyways, and it was hilarious because I actually we took them out for dinner. Uh, the other night and I know I showed you guys on Instagram but the girls were like oh my goodness they were so grown up it was so funny and we I Brian and I must have been like shh like 500 times but they're getting better but obviously they're so excited for like to be out and like have new food and stuff so um my goodness that Mickey thing is really making a lot of noise so anyways that's a great idea if you do have like a birthday party or something like that you can do like a little basket assortment of goodies oh and by the way i had my photo shoot uh on tuesday so i'm really excited and i shared the makeup and we used my new eye palette actually on my instagram um so if you want to check out that look it is on my instagram and then it actually isn't for the makeup line though this is for a different project uh but I was just really excited to show you guys like a little bit behind the scenes. Um, so the next haul I have here, so I unboxed everything uh, while I was trying to with the girls, but this is Princess Polly. I got a ton of new clothes from there. So I got this like a little crop top, which I thought would be really cute for summer with like a nice long skirt or something. Um, and then I ended up getting a long skirt, this one right here. And I liked the fact it tied up in the front. I just thought that was really neat. And you can do like a crisscross. And I just thought it was really nice color. I really like like beige and nude. Um, and then I got a jumper, which it looks a little long for me, but we'll see. Um, but I liked the material. I like how it has the waistband as well that you can use. And it just looked really comfortable. So like the ultimate summer jumper. Oops, all right, well. There goes my jumper. <laughs> okay, we're all good. Also, the other thing I bought were more hangers. So I did get some for Ryan's closet and then also some for mine as well. So I just buy the white ones off Amazon. I think it comes in a set of 10. Um, oh, the other thing I got right here is this pink blazer. This is actually from a store called Evernew. And I still have the tag on it right there, but um, yeah, I'll take that off. But it's so pretty, it's really nice and fitted. And I'm waiting, I think, on two dresses that I ordered from there too, but they haven't come in yet. But look how pretty that pink is. This is like my ultimate favorite color pink. Um, so yeah, I just like how everything is like hung up now. And uh, like I said, I really love doing neutrals and pinks and whites and having it all blend nicely um, in, in, my, uh, in my closet. So. Uh, the next thing I am going to show you guys, I actually had a ton of stuff that I got for the girls, so it's all downstairs. Also some Easter things as well, 
that I got from HomeSense and uh, yeah, we'll go downstairs. Oh, one other thing, this is kind of random, but I put this up for the photo shoot. This is one of my favorite photos from our wedding. You can see like the layers upon layers that I had in my dress, which it was like so hot the day we got married. Um, but one of this, or I think this is, yeah, this is the new photo frame I got, which I really, really love. Um, the Victorian look, obviously, I love going with white and they had so many of these styles. You can get them in different colors. Uh, so yeah, I just thought that would look really nice. And now that we're getting into spring, I think spring's in like two weeks. Um, I finally like, I love, love, love this side, like the pinks, the corals. I have a lot of like rompers and dresses on this side here. Um, so the other thing I have to do, I obviously still have not filled the top shelves, which I mean, I can either do bags or whatever else, um, that I can find shopping bags or maybe decor. I think decor. I think I have to go find some like more decor at home sense, but they really didn't have anything when I went there for this vlog. Like I just said like Easter stuff and um, it was kind of like in the middle, I think of season. So they didn't have that much stuff. Okay, so the other things I had picked up, I got a ton of stuff from Karistaz. So these are actually great. These are like little anti-breakage fortifying treatments. I've used these in the past, haven't used them in a long time. And I actually booked myself for a haircut next week. So I definitely wanted to get some like new nice products. Um, I also have like a hair treatment that I'm gonna do because my hair has been so dry and brittle, but also a little update. Um, I have been getting my injections again because I think the, the place I went to, the clinic, was closed December and January. So I just started up again and I had some questions on that. So let me know if you want me to do like an alopecia update video, but uh, they are working really well. I did go through that time of like where I did lose a little bit of hair and breakage through those months because you have to be consistent with it. You have to keep going. Um, but I'm really excited to be back on that and be getting my extensions again, or <laughs> extensions, um, injections again. You guys, I cannot talk this morning. It's too early. Karistaz leave-in treatment. I got that as well. And then, oh, this is just my mug. <laughs> Trying to drink a lot more water these days. And then also Karistaz. So we have shampoo. She told me this was really great if you had like dry weakened hair. So I'm trying that. And then also this one for normal, slightly dry hair for conditioner. So yeah. And so the other things I got here, I got some new Easter cups. So these are so pretty. You can use them for wine or water even or like entertaining, but I ended up getting three of them and I'll show you guys up close. They're so pretty. They're like iridescent too. So I put my brushes in here. I just thought, why not use this one for brushes and then use the other two for wine. Uh, and they are really nice, heavy glass. So you have to be very careful. Um, but there is a little bunny on there and I just thought these were so stunning. So did pick those up. They're also great for like, obviously if we could have patio season right now, I think they'd make for really nice like patio um, glassware too. So I did get that. And then this right here. So this is actually another brush holder. You can put stationary in this if you wanted to. How much was this? That comes with like six different spots in here, $16.99. So I did like this and they have other ones too. I think it's more so for stationary, but Obviously you can put brushes in there. So I definitely will fill that up But I just want to show you how pretty that was with the sparkles on it Okay, and right over here. I wanted to show you guys Mia and Sophia's new bottles So these are their water bottles that I got from uh, Pottery Barn Kids So you can see there's all different princesses on it I think this was a princess collection that came out But I really they didn't have the frozen ones that I wanted to get but I loved the color of these and the girls are Obsessed so they really like using these so I'll try to find them on their website and link them down below and then I also put the flowers that I got from HomeSense last time just in our master um, bedroom, which I just think is really spring, really pretty. And I have my little pineapple teacup. <laughs> it's really funny. I actually, this doesn't go here, but I put it here because the girls can't climb onto our bed, which is probably a good thing. Um, but they love having that freedom to be able to now. So I have put the little ottoman here until I find a new one. I actually saw one on um, like what was I on Pinterest yesterday and it had acrylic legs and it had the same tuft like look and design and it was so stunning but I cannot find it out on Wayfair so I'm gonna have to do some searching this weekend but that was the other thing I was gonna ask you guys let me know if you'd like to see another like furniture like things I'm gonna buy video I did a lot of those videos when we were uh, building our home and you guys seem to have loved those so I do need to finish off the bonus the guest room and some other areas in the house So we're more so getting um, what's it called? 
like uh, pictures up in the house and then also mirrors and other things. I don't want to show you that side. It's so messy right now. That would be Ryan's side. <laughs> um, but I wanted to quickly show you the new pillows I got. So, um, and I usually have these blinds opened, but uh, if I do that, then it'll be really dark on the camera. But these were the new pillows I picked up. Look how pretty. It has like flowers, kind of that Victorian style all over. I really liked the ruffles on these too. So I got two of those and then two of these gray ones right here. So I just thought these were really nice too. I might go back and get one more, but I honestly, I think you could tell I couldn't carry anything else in that cart. I looked so silly. You couldn't even see me when I was like walking around because I had like these massive pillows filling up my cart um but i just wanted to show you guys that and we have two chandeliers right there um but i think oh and then i have this like big comfortable throw which this is more so for max he's obsessed with this and it's actually a comforter but i just use it as like an end blanket um but anyways i just wanted to quickly show you that and if you see an ottoman that would look really nice i want to get one that's obviously lo like long in length um, that kind of goes with the tuft uh, bed frame that we have. So if you see something, then let me know. Okay, so an area I'm never really in just because it's not finished, but I wanted to quickly show you guys what our plan is for the bonus area now. So, um, yeah, anyways, also dog beds here so me and Sophia can jump on the couch. Uh, and yeah, I'm thinking of putting that somewhere else or maybe once we situate this room, this can be put somewhere else. But, uh, so we're gonna get a really big ottoman for right here. I wanted to get like a really nice rug. I actually found an ottoman that was really big. Um, and that's our safest bet because this is going to be kind of like a reading area. Uh, and we've decided actually like last minute here. Oh, and also another thing I bought, I just bought like 12 picture frames that go up here and I'm gonna do black and white. So I just wanted to quickly say that too. I got it off uh, Wayfair. So this is the other side. So right over here, we're actually contacting the builder and we're gonna do custom bookshelves here. And I just thought like we were gonna do a TV here, but there's a TV in our bedroom like right here. So there's really no point. And I think to do like a reading area is really important in the house, especially when the girls get older. Um, and I mean, yeah. And then obviously right here, we're getting a big custom cushion so they can sit along here because right now they like to run on this, which is not really safe, but, um, yeah, so I'm really excited to get that done. And of course, once it's finished, I will share with you guys, but if there's anything else you think might look good in here, then definitely let me know. Also going to be honest and Ryan already knows I've heated up my coffee. I want to say 15 times today already, and it's starting to taste really gross, but <laughs> That's what happens when you have kids. And it's been such a busy morning, but look at the sunshine though, it's so pretty. All right, so we'll go downstairs quick. Okay, so over here, I just want to quickly show you, this was the um, table runner that I got. So it has really nice, like you can see the foiling on it. And it kind of went along like I find with our wallpaper really nicely. So the only thing here I would love to put something like on top of here, but I'm really scared of the girls pulling it and breaking something. So for now, I'll just like have it like this at the end. But um, yeah, I will definitely play around with it a little bit. But I love the color. I think it's really nice too for spring. I love anything floral and I really want to book a spring shoot once it starts getting warmer here. There's actually still snow outside. so. Just wanted to quickly show you guys that. Okay, since I'm down here too, quick little thing that we're doing. I think I mentioned this in one of my vlogs already, but um, Ryan and I are going to get two large mirrors like going this way, um, right here and here. And then right here, we're gonna get a big piece of art. And I think it'll be really nice. It'll fill in the space really nicely. And I think the mirrors too will make the space look even bigger. Uh, and the reason also why I got, I always wanted to get like a really gorgeous table, but it was just not safe. And especially with the girls when they watch TV in here and they play and, you know, we're trying to entertain them when we're cooking. Uh, it's just a better idea to have a comfortable ottoman. And also I still think it looks nice. I would like to put a tray right here and put like some sort of floral, but um, they tend to grab for those. So just nice to not have it in there. But once I do a home tour, then I, it'll be all staged. Um, how I would want it to be <laughs> But obviously it's much better to have things in a safe environment and I love 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 This rug I actually think I got this when we were back in Windsor from home sense and it is so hard to find a rug this size like a bear fur rug um, Of course, it's not real. I think I got it for like a hundred bucks, which is an awesome deal But I definitely want to find something similar to this uh, for upstairs for the guest room. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the guest room 
I'll go back upstairs in a minute here, but yeah, something else for the guest room I think would be really, really nice. And also I wanted to get like a little, um, like a little version of this and put it on here. I think that would also look really nice. All right, so kitchen is clean. I did a lot of dishes this morning and we've been doing chef's plate, which has been working out so much. Even Ryan really enjoys it, you guys. This is not sponsored, but I have fallen in love with chef's plate. It is just so much easier for us to have preset meals. So I'll show you the ones we got this week. And I have a few things here I wanted to show you. So this is one of the glasses. I thought I'd make for really nice decor, just having out one of the Easter ones. Um, and then right here, this is Ryan's phone case, ignore that. <laughs> um, but we have this. So I got this really nice bowl. I got it because this reminded me of me and Sophia, two little bunnies. I don't know what to put in here yet. So let me know if you have an idea, but um, yeah, I just thought it'd be really, really cute. And what else did I get? I have another glass right here in the kitchen, so I just wanted to quickly show you. And then also Ryan's using his new water bottle and the mugs I got him for his birthday, which is awesome. And sorry, the dishwashers are on right now. We have both running. Um, I got the girls these books, which you guys, if you have not seen these books, this one is the coloring one, but we got this and then we had this when we went for dinner. These are awesome. So I got the dog one, which they really like too. And then also this one, this is actually from Michael. So this is the dinosaur one. And I think downstairs right now they have have the animal one and then like the random sweets like donuts and stuff and there's also one that's an Easter one that we just bought but these are great for toddlers like the girls go crazy and they point to stuff and um, it's very visual and also they're really good with numbers right now too they're counting so I just wanted to share those and they're all from Amazon all right so over here I wanted to show you guys these were the plates that came with the set that I got so when we had open it up um, it has all the princesses on it right here, which is so, so cute. And sorry, there must be something really like heavy in the dishwasher right now. It's making a lot of noise. Um, and then I also have just like some of these books. I don't think I've ever shown you guys this, but um, Jillian Harris's book and then Monica Hibbs underneath. So I just put like a little candle, some nice spring floral. Okay, so in here it comes with these bowls. Um, think big, dream big. But the writing is coming off a bit, I started to notice. And we only hand wash these, so yeah, they are dishwasher safe, but I like to just be careful because the writing usually does come off. Um, and then, okay, so these are my favorite. They come in pink and white as well, but these are my favorite from Amazon if you are looking for like toddler plates. Um, I just like how all the food is separated and they tend to eat really well when they use these, so. And yeah, I don't shop from, um, Pottery Barn kids all the time, trust me. It is so overpriced and so expensive, but I wanted to get them like a really unique set, which I think these will be just like a favorite of theirs. Uh, so, and they also are great for like a birthday if you do want to splurge a little bit. And Pottery Barn obviously has such beautiful things. I just think the pricing is just out there. This was 50 bucks for this set, which is expensive. Um, and then I think they're using the cup right now, but I have a little clip from when we were opening these, which they were really excited about. Okay, so this was also a part of my Princess Polly haul. So I know I never buy black, but I've been really into mini bags. So you know the furry pink one I'm using right now. So I thought this would be really nice as well. And it has gold in it too, which I like, gold hardware. Uh, and I just think it's the perfect size. It's nice, petite, it's small. It wasn't that expensive. So if you wanna check out, um, yeah, their site, they have a ton of stuff. I can't remember how I found them. I think it was Instagram and then I just started buying a few things and I'm like, wow, the quality is really, really nice. And um, this bag too is also really nice and high end. Like I can't remember the price this was, but I remember being like, wow, that's really affordable. Uh, so yeah, really cute little backpack. Okay, so we are in the guest bedroom right now. So it usually is a little bit messy. Sometimes we'll watch TV in here before putting the girls down. Um, and this actually is gonna get moved as well. We just got the dresser which came in. We haven't put like the knobs on yet, um, but I'll show you everything once it's done. I also have to get like a long ottoman for the end of the bed. I have to get a rug. I also need to get a throw for the, the bed. Um, I do love the bed frame. It used to drive me a little bit nuts when we first got it because I was thrown off from like how dark it was, but I do really, really like it now. We have two side tables as well. I actually want to find a nice big piece of art for the top there. And then the other thing we're going to do on this side here, we're actually going to get a really nice long mirror and it's going to be like a little vanity area and get like a little vanity chair too. So. Anyways, like I said, there's still a lot to do. Oh, and then I think in this corner here, I'm gonna get like a nice like chair to sit on. 
Um, and then also like one of those like little ottomans, which this is not supposed to be in here. I think we just moved it um, out of the way since we are, the girls now have been body trained and they have their potties like everywhere all over the house. So we've just moved it. But anyways, yeah, I think this will be really nice once it is finished and completed. And I will share with you guys like a little tour, but yeah, we definitely have been super busy lately and haven't been able to finish certain areas in the house, but really excited. I've been on Wayfair a lot, so I can't wait to finish it. Okay, so last area here, this is the girls' playroom. I also got this Where is Clarice book. We have so many Megan Hess books, but this one really stood out and I got it from Pottery Barn. And I think you can get these on um, from Indigo as well. But look how cute this is. I just love it. So cute. So I have that. And then also I have a ton of their books too. I have like little Easter baskets out as well. And oh yeah, they're Easter baskets. I almost forgot right here. So these were the ones I went with. I went with the soft ones only because the other ones, I feel like they would be able to hurt themselves easily, and especially because they bump into each other all the time. So they could scratch one another and I just want to be careful. So I'm going to fill these with goodies and eggs and all sorts of stuff. Um, They'll have like a gift basket and then they'll also be able to get eggs or do like an Easter egg hunt on um, Easter. So, and we have like lots of baskets and stuff here and I'm surprised actually, it's so clean in here. It usually isn't. And then this was that throw that I got also that was new. There are like a few stitches and tears um, in here, but I mean, it's not a huge deal and I still really liked it. It was the only one that was there. So I still ended up picking it up, which I really like and also, I don't know why everyone thinks like when you get a, a, a reading chair, like you can only have it for so long and then you have to get rid of it. Like I would want to keep this for a while. I think it's great having in this room and they definitely read and like rock on the chair. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's just something you can keep for a while. And even that one was actually from my beauty room and they love sitting on that chair reading. So uh, yeah, anyways, the other thing we have to put together, it kind of looks like this, but it's a vanity and my mom got it, I want to say for Christmas and we just... <laughs> obviously haven't had time to put it together. So I think, yeah, it'll go in here somewhere um, and it'll be really, really cute. It came with like a ton of other stuff, like a mirror and like a handheld mirror and stuff like that. So yeah, but I really love this room. It's great for them to be able to like sit and read and like um, do other things. Cause it's more of like a playhouse down in our basement. They have a slide and it's just more crazy down there. So it's a little bit more contained up here, which is good. All right can hear the girls screaming their little faces off downstairs. But um, anyways, yeah, this is basically not a voiceover, but like I had to refilm this for the second time because there was no audio in the first one. So I hope you enjoy kind of me sharing all the new stuff around the house and also kind of telling you a plan of what we're doing with our furniture. And I cannot wait. I really want to finish the house by like at least June um, with all the furniture so I can get like a spring slash summer uh, home tour for you because obviously yeah and it's not something I wanted to rush because then you end up regretting things you buy and that's just not something I want to do. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention let me know if you want me to do a wish list video because oh my goodness I don't know if you've seen the new Chanel collection that just came out so I was obsessed with the iridescent collection that came out a few years ago um, but there's a light pink one that just came out and it's so beautiful. I don't think it's out yet. It's the spring collection. So it's probably coming out soon. Uh, it's probably going to sell out really fast, but let me know if you wanted me to do like a, a wish list video. Cause I haven't done one in a long time and there are so many new bags out right now. Oh, it's so stunning. Like I even liked some of the black bags that they had in this new collection and it's just, it has pearls all over it, which I really think is just so unique and different. Um, so yeah, I've been eyeing it like crazy, but, and a few girls from Instagram obviously sent it to me and I'm like, no, too beautiful. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching, um, I guess, yeah, the second half of the shop with me. And I'm sorry I couldn't get that much footage at home since, like I said, I went on a Sunday and it was so busy. Every single aisle I went down, there's people just like ramming into me and staring and it was just kind of an awkward place to film and day to film. So I think the next time I go do a shop with me, I'll do it on like a Monday when no one's there because it was way too busy. Um, anyways, yeah. And I think I'm going to get another one of these Ottomans actually for the guest room. I think that would be really nice. And it was pretty inexpensive for that too. Um... But yeah, let me know what videos you want to see next. Like I said, wish list, and then also, oh, I can combine actually, maybe fashion and 
like furniture into the same wish list. Let me know if you want me to do that. And also what other videos you want me to do and what you want to see. I hope you enjoyed seeing this and seeing some of the clips overlaid with me and Sophia because it was fun when we filmed it. They were all over the place, like playing around in my closet. And I was so sad when there was no audio. So, I mean, that happens and I obviously couldn't be upset about it. It was just, I was like, okay, I gotta refilm it now. I couldn't get it up for Monday. Um, but thank you guys for being patient. And of course, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you guys subscribe and I will see you in my next video.